I'm gonna show you how to hit driver much better by showing you five things you should not be doing when hitting the driver. I'm gonna show you things that you should be doing. And also stay tuned to the fifth one because I'm gonna test myself live on this video. Number one, do not set up to hit your driver like you would do your irons. They are very, very different swings. So setting up to your driver like an iron would be a big mistake. What you should be doing is setting up to your driver to give you the best possible chance to create speed, power, and to hit up on the ball. And to do that, when hitting driver, you want to have the ball position just inside your left heel. You want to approach with a much wider stance than you would do with your irons to create power. And also, you want a little bit of upper body tilt. That way you can hit up on the golf ball and strike it the most efficient way. So number one, do not set up to hit your driver like you would do your irons because they are very different types of swings. Number two, don't just use your arms. If you look at your body in power, mass, your legs, your torso, your body is gonna create much more power than just your arms. Even if you have the strongest arms in the world, if you only use your arms, you would not create speed. And I see a lot of golfers quite simply just swinging at a driver just kind of wafting their arms at it. And you need speed, you need power. So make sure when you're hitting driver, you're turning the body. You're making sure that your shoulders are turning and your hips are turning and you're creating power from the ground. You're rotating your body and quite simply, your arms are just following what your body allows it to do. And even on the way down, make sure it's the body that's turning, the hips are firing, the legs are working, the torso's coming through. And then finally, the arms can create a little bit of that last minute momentum. But do not swing with just your arms, use your body. That way you can create speed and hit driver much, much better. Number two, don't just use your arms, make sure you use your body as well. Number three, don't hit down with your driver. And what I mean by that, think about the club head coming into the golf ball. If the club head is coming down into the golf ball, you don't get the correct launch angle or the correct spin, you lose distance. Ideally, what the club wants to be doing is moving up into the ball. So hitting upwards, you create the best launch angle and the best distance. In simple terms, imagine this was a plane on, on the runway. It wants to be taking off into the ball as opposed to coming down onto the runway. To hit up is definitely key with driver. And to allow you to do that, the setup we talked about in number one is key. But also, as we come into the golf ball, allow your upper body still to be slightly tilted backwards so i'm allowing my hips to turn but my upper body has a slight tilt in it very similar to how i approach that setup position that way that club can hit up into the ball and as i mentioned it's almost like the plane taking off the runway as opposed to coming down into the runway number three do not hit down on driver make sure you hit up And that's how you'll hit that big, long drive. That was crushed, that one. Guys, before we get to the last two points, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you smash like, subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss out on any videos that are released to help you play better golf. Number four, don't slow down. Like when you're hitting driver, you need speed. Don't try and guide a driver shot down there. Making sure, I want you to make sure you're picking up maximum speed through the golf ball. As you're hitting the golf ball, you want this club head speed traveling at the fastest it can because you want to create the best ball speed to get the best distance. See too many golfers coming into the ball, they're almost a bit wary. They're almost pulling their arms inwards towards the body and slowing down as they hit the shot. When you're hitting driver, you want to make sure club head speed is fast through the ball and even post impact and that your arms are fully extending through the shot and you're allowing your body to turn. Create speed, it's so important when hitting driver. Do not slow down, allow the club head speed to accelerate through the shot. That way you'll hit it much better and that is what the driver's designed for, it's designed for distance. 
And last but not least, number five, do not neglect strike. Even though driver heads now are so much bigger, so much more forgiving, hitting the center of the club face is still key. So I use some of this, this athlete's foot powder spray. Spray some on your face. Should have bought stocks in that stuff. I recommend it all the time. Spray it on your face, your face goes super white. And then when you hit a shot, you'll see where you hit on the face. The best players in the world will hit the middle of the club face. They'll create the maximum ball speed. I'm gonna test myself live on this video. Guys, like I say, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like. Let's see if I can finish off with one out the middle. Oh, I'm not sure it's my best. Let's see. Oh, a little bit room for room for improvement there. But again, that's something that every golfer in the world can work on. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. And we'll see you next time.